Hey guys, you're watching carbuy.com.su once again. In front of us is the new 2019 Volvo V60 station wagon. So the V60 is the station wagon version of the S60, and that's uh, in the small mid-executive car segment. Goes up against the likes of the A4, 3.3s, and the C-Class. Now in the past, that was always a tough order, because according uh, towards the end of the S60's life, it got really old. It was like, what, eight years old, because Ford. But now this is the new one, the Gen. Uh, all new SPA architecture, same as V90, S90, XC90, and all those new Volvos. So under Geely, they got lots of money, they're doing what they should. So uh, one thing to note about the car is that it's actually now the longest car in the class. So longer, lower, and wider than the Germans, and that really kind of shows, especially now that we're looking at the T5R design. So R design is the sportier variant. We've got our body kit down there, you know, with the louvers and all that. We've got our black gloss parts, you got the wing mirror, black gloss. Uh, black gloss um, roof rails as well, 18 inch wheels down there. We got our dual exhaust as well. So, a very handsome looking estate uh, wagon for the wagon connoisseur. But I mean, there are very good reasons to buy a wagon, and um, the boot space is, of course, one of them. So, actually, personally, I don't know why people buy SUVs when you can fit something like what 529 liters of stuff into this boot, and that's more than 100 liters than the S60 itself. And of course, the whole loading aperture is bigger. There are really cool features like this little uh, flop-up shelf that you can secure your stuff, stop and rolling around. If you fold down the seats, you get 1,441 liters of space, which is freaking huge. So if you need to carry anything more, just get a freaking van. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the back seat now. So because it's longer and the wheelbase is longer, it's also pretty spacious. So. Um, Compared to the, now this, this seat is in a um, slightly forward position, but you know, you can see how much space there is. So it's really quite spacious. So again, um, the roof line is a little bit low, but you don't have maybe to have much as much uh, head space as a SUV, but it's still pretty good. So, you know, really why buy an SUV if you got something like this? So this is the interior, pretty much the same deal as the S90. Uh, you have an active instrument display. This is our design, so we've got our R design steering wheel, a little R design badge there. We've got our aluminium pedals performance. We have a little air shifter here too. And we got our nine inch infotainment display, touchscreen only, so as usual, a bit finicky to use while you're moving, but pretty much easy to use when you're standing still, intuitive and all that. So very Swedish pared down interior. I like it, not too fussy. If you look down here, and that and of course this being a Volvo it has a lot of safety features so that's that's one of the things you really uh, I think they're really worth paying for so I mean you have everything from the new city safety system that detects people detects cyclists it even detects large animals if you're gonna run off the road it'll stop you from doing that if you're falling asleep it'll wake you up if someone's coming with you from the onside lane it basically you know if you crash in this car you, you really have to try very very hard basically so we have a review of the V60 out on carbuyer.com.sg. Please check that out. If you like this video and you want to know more about the car, if you've got any questions, things we want to cover in uh, future videos, please let us know by Facebook or by logging on to the website, dropping us a line.